Hello, everyone. Today is Tuesday, February 13th, 2017. Welcome back to the show. Valentine's Day is tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Got big plans? <clears throat> yes, we always festive. have. Yeah, I am very festive. I wear I my... I, I used a, <clears throat> a poinsettia. Yes. <laughs> as you do my... have a shade. We have, I have a shade of pink, a, a little uh, red, and you've my got Valentine's nice poinsettia. Colors. Yes, yeah. Tomorrow's Valentine's Day, and uh, it's always an interesting day in school. You know, the kids make Valentine's, yeah. give them out. We have a little party in the afternoon, you know, we got all the Valentines, and they make me the little Valentines, too. Aww. I made you guys Valentines today. Did you? Jess oh. and I, yeah. Wow. We are making, we made cookies all morning. Wow. Because every year we give Valentines to the kids in the class, so we wow. do cookies instead of actual Valentines. Wow, awesome. look at this. Look at oh, wait, wait a minute, now wait a oh, minute, keep oh, them no. together. Oh, wait a minute, keep them Here. together. Why? On the plate. It's got all right. all... Okay, you can talk, I'll open the... I'll open yes, the, uh, open it up. Know? I don't know <clears throat> we've got a big show this week for uh, for our viewers. We're actually going to get a massage from Lenora Fries, and we're going to be get some acupuncture oh, okay. oh, by Adrian okay. Smith. Yeah, they are. Let's let's hold it up here. We got the live with Matt, Matt Heather, and, and Jamie cookies here. No, you can't do that. Oh, yes, yeah, sure okay. you can. I'm an expert at this. Look, Look at that! <laughs> wow, isn't that nice? That is awesome. The live with Matt Heather and Jamie cookies. So we'll enjoy those as we as we have our show this week Good. Yeah. Uh, for everybody. And uh, we also have this week on the show, Michelle Storrs is going to be here from our Catskill News. Mm -hmm. Uh, One of our students at the high school did an interview with her about the upcoming Catskill High School musical. Nice. So uh, we always make a a visit to the high school Mm -hmm. during the play play Mm -hmm. season. We get a little preview of the the musical for our our audience here on Columbia Green Media. So I'm looking forward to hearing about the, the Catskill High School play. Now last week... Uh, we went and to the salon. You know, we had. A, <laughs> yeah. I didn't think we would be able to top the Chelsea Sulky, you know, mm-hmm. singing sensation that was here. Mm-hmm. But this show went through the roof as well. Now, yeah. so you know, you know they, how to get. You, know. <laughs> <laughs> you don't they, listen uh, to Heather and I. <laughs> yeah, you don't. <laughs> We had to we, basically push you in that. I yeah. know. We had to like really... Oh my goodness, that was not planned. You know, I was not. You two were going to get really your stuff done. We were working on them all night long to do you it. You two were going to get your stuff done, and for that, I started growing a beard. You know, because. <laughs> Why well, you want to get your beard waxed? I'm, well, no, we're oh, not getting get a beard waxed. Wax. We're not going to get any more waxing done. <laughs> Uh, but Let's check see out how you look. check out the show. Do I have my eyebrows look? Do they look all right? Yeah, look good. yeah, look pretty good. I right? should have gotten mine. They're done. all shaped. I should have gotten mine done too. <laughs> so yes, check that out on the show last week. You threw me in the chair. You held me down, <laughs> and she ripped away. You know, and I, you know, I really felt like I was bleeding. <laughs> You know, I said, am I bleeding? That was my first thing. I said, I feel like my skin came off. You know, I thought she well, ripped my skin. Some of it sort of did. But it was dead skin. It needed to oh. They look groomed now between yeah. your eyes. Do- <laughs> Does it looks nice and groomed. <laughs> Thank you very much. And our live video, you know, must have went viral because I was in the diner uh, Thursday and... The waitress comes over and she goes, oh, did you get your wax done? And I said, how the heck did you know about this? I said, give me a break, lady. So, but yes, we did get the waxing done. We're all set. So, oh, that's you know, and this week we've got a, we've got a big show. As I said, uh, we've got Lenora Fries and Adrian Smith are going to be here. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're going to go to that segment in a little while. And uh, Friday night we had a... We had a, I actually made a trip down to Socrates mm-hmm. uh, to see your son, Wrestle, yeah. uh, your son, the Hurricane. Mm-hmm. You know, I call him the Hurricane. That actually was a wrestler's name. Yeah, and I, I made it. The, I, it. I made the split screen of the Hurricane, <laughs> Hurricane Helms, and mm-hmm. Hurricane Matthew Story. And also one of my students, Connor Grassi, mm-hmm. uh, was they actually and they fought each other. Yes, I was they like, always do because they're the same weight <clears> class. Yeah, they're the same weight class. Yeah. Well. Connor had a little height advantage on the hurricane. <laughs> I, I noticed that. But they were so cute. All of them cute. were very cute. Yeah. They're uh, cute. Really was. Cute. Well, <clears throat> it's um, New York Wrestling Academy. It's next door. It's yeah, in Saugerties. It's, Saugerties. it's next door to the IXL gym. Okay. Yeah. And it's from kindergarten to 12th grade. And they have different <clears throat> night, different times for different ca- different age groups. Oh, good. So, Matthew, we try to get down there yeah, three was, times a week. It was cute, yeah. He really and, enjoys uh, it. I said mm-hmm. to Connor, because Connor is in my class. Mm-hmm. And I said to Connor, I said, I'm coming to the wrestling match tonight. And he goes, his whole, you know, his whole head lit up. I said, should I wear the belt? You know, because I have the championship belt on my desk. If you showed up with that belt on, I would have walked out. (laughs) And Connor was like, he goes, no, this is real wrestling. It's not the fake stuff. (laughs) 
do you mean? It's not fake. I said, they get hurt. <laughs> Well, it was cute. I had a, I had a good time down there. Good. I was tired Friday, but it was it was nice, and it was snowing. I couldn't yeah. believe the snow it, again. I, I almost didn't come. I, I texted you. I said I'm a little nervous driving in the but snow. But it was stopped. Heather, yeah, you it know I don't like to yeah, drive. It stopped. Stop. It stopped. Did you stop. survived? <clears throat> I did. Yes, and it really I did survive. Wasn't sticking. Yep. No, no, it roads. wasn't. It wasn't too bad. But I don't know if I'm getting up my driveway. So when I get home. Really. Oh, it's because like it's cold and icy. Ice. Wow. Yeah, it did get colder. It did get yeah. colder out this week. Now, even from this morning, I went out at like a little before eight yeah, thirty, and it was, it was warmer. Cold. Yeah, but and then as the morning went on, it got cold. Yeah, and, that's what happens. That's you know. what happens. Saturday night, I had a nice little birthday party for my cousin Gino, so I wanted to wish him a happy birthday. And our little cousin Emily, mm-hmm. uh, you know, they spend their two-hour delays here with me in the morning, so people saw that on the Snapchatter. Yeah, uh, they invaded my Snapchatter. You know, they yes. we had we had probably fifteen Snapchatting pictures on there. You know, they they thought they were funny, so we <laughs> had a good time. And uh, besides the snow on Wednesday, we had Stephen Meisch here uh, mm-hmm. last week, and he was right on know, with the right prediction. On. Oh yeah! I mean, the snow started. He said it was going to start at one rush hour, yeah. between eight and nine o'clock, nine a.m. on the dot. The snow started coming down. Yeah, he was right to mm-hmm. to say, you know, might as well not even open the schools. Mm-hmm. So I'm glad they didn't because that would have been a mess to try to get those kids home. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Cuz it came quick. It came it quick. Yeah, yeah. And it came down fast. It came fast and I had a busy week last week. I'm trying to get in some meetings with departments in the county. Mm-hmm. Uh so we Mike Bulich and I met with a lot of department heads. We met with the president of the college, mm-hmm. Columbia Green Community College. He watches the show. Mm-hmm. Um and also, I was appointed to the board of directors for Cornell Cooperative Extension nice. of Columbia Wonderful. and Green County. So mm-hmm. I wanted to mention that to our people, and hopefully we'll try to get out there and do a little segment with them. Well, there's a, an event going on, correct, <clears throat> with the retirement? Yes, yes. Uh, the executive director mm-hmm. is actually retiring uh, on the 22nd, So, and there's actually an interim director mm-hmm. that's going on. Yeah, Good, so. nice. I don't know, and and Chuck Brooks, he's Chuck a, he, Brooks he is the executive director. He watches the show also. Yeah. So congratulations, congratulations on your congratulations. Yes. All right. So are we ready for this? Are we ready to go to Lenore Freese? You know. Yeah. <clears throat> I gotta get a massage. I know. You were getting I wanted acupuncture. One. The Heather, he makes me you do. weren't there. You were supposed to be getting the massage. I know. I know. I'm so kind of instead, I took one for the team. <laughs> and did you and, like it? Well, I was a little nervous when she said, <laughs> you know. Stripped um, down, and I'm like, stripped down to what? But did and then you I saw like this stretcher it? in there. Well, no, I was a little nervous. Not I'm not saying you were That's at the, the most, beginning. <clears throat> was it? Did you like it? Well, you know, the people will have to check this out here. Now he liked it. When we, I want to tell the first of all how we got there. Now. Oh, you had tried to give me go. directions here. Didn't we we discussed it on the last show. But he likes to repeat. Well, right. I want to. I want to okay. tell our audience now. I want to. Okay. I want to draw. I want to draw this out for people. Time. Okay. They all so we all drawing. know twenty three. Okay. Right. Twenty three. There's twenty three. We all know, we all know twenty three. All right. So <laughs> I'm coming up twenty three. Now you told me to go, and the accounting place is over here. Okay. Yes. So the accounting place is over here. I turn in on that side road. What's okay. the name of the road? <clears throat> I don't remember. Five Mile? All right, Five Mile Woods Road. <laughs> Here's the parking area. So this is all parking right there. You see that, ladies? Yeah. So then I pull in here. There's two entrances. I pull in. I see the place. You know, and I say, you told me it was in the back. So I get out of the car. I go up. I'm looking back here. I don't see anything. So then I see another building over here on the side. And this building over That's here. That's the podiatrist's office, I think. It said mm-hmm. Catskill Mountain Chiropractic. Oh, okay. <clears throat> another parking lot. All right, so I get in this parking lot, and I'm like, okay, I'm I'm there. I go walk up to the thing. There's no place to get in the back. I see lights on back here where the circle is, okay? There's lights on behind. I'm saying, how the heck do I get down there? There's snow on. There's no path. So then all of a sudden, I see that they, you said, look for a road. So mm-hmm. I saw a road going like this in the back. I'm saying, where does that road come from? I said, I know it's not on 23. So then I look over and I saw there's a little Elting Road that comes Listen, on the corner I'm, over here. So then I finally made it there. <laughs> I'm a non-driver, okay? I have to use GPS it was for very everything. Confusing. And I know there's a road there. Well, that's where it was. It's Elting that's Road. What I was telling you. Well, I knew where Elting and Road was. And you have to was. drive. Uh, no, he doesn't. Because I said drive past. 
Take a right onto twenty. Take a right off of twenty three. Go down five mile. There's a road. I don't know what the name of it is. I said, <laughs> but you take a right on that first road and you follow that and you'll see another parking lot. All right, we made it there. Let's go. Barely, apparently. <laughs> We're here for our community spotlight segment, and we're here with Lenora Fries and Adrian Smith. Hello. And uh, I thank you, ladies, for having Jamie and I here this week. Jamie is getting prepared, uh, and you're going to prepare me over here and getting a massage, and we're going to do a little acupuncture. Right? So, uh, <clears throat> we're located here at uh, our massage and acupuncture facility here in, on Elting Road here in Catskill. Yep. And uh, tell people a little bit about what you offer and, and when you're here, you know, so people know. So we have um, massage and acupuncture. Mm -hmm. We are typically here Monday through Saturday, okay. um, all different times, mornings, evenings. Um, so people have to really make an appointment to yes, come yes. here. Okay, so they're yes. going to make an appointment. How do they get in touch with you uh, for our audience on Columbia Green Media? Uh, tell them how they can get in touch with you. So, Lenora Fries, <laughs> Licensed <laughs> Massage Therapist, 518-821-6341. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then Adrian? And uh, my Same number one. is 917-557-1199. All right, so we're going to put that on the screen for people. And you have the Facebook page, right? Yes, as I have well. the Facebook page. So that has more information. We'll share that with our audience as well. Correct. All right. Anything else you want to tell our people here? You know, why they should come here, you know? Well, why, do they, why do they want to get needles put in them? You know, I've, I don't know. I don't know if I could handle that. Well, we're spending a little bit too much time and money on our medicine when people are already sick. Yes. So what we're trying to encourage people to do is stay healthy. That's right. So, That's you the know, whole purpose of our do, segment here. It's, it's used best as a preventative medicine. Okay. It works great for diseases and controlling signs and symptoms that are happening. Okay. Um, it works in a junction with, you know, chemotherapy treatments and all that kind okay. of thing. Okay, very good. But it's important to stay healthy. Yes. And if you're treating yourself and you're kind of living your lifestyle according to the seasons, then you will stay healthy. Right. And okay. so that's what we're, you know, that's what we do. Terrific, terrific. Well, let's get started. We are going to start with me over here in the... We in are. Massage. I'm ready for it, I hope. Can't wait. See. Get me out there. And then Jamie's going to join me in a little bit. All right, here we go. Sure. All right, so we made it over here to the stretcher area, you know, so. <laughs> it's a stretcher, it's a massage table, Matt. All right, Lenora, so you're going to be doing the massage today. Yes, I am. Okay, yeah. and, and I'm going to, I agree to do this here. You, you know. did, I'm very impressed. Yes, this is a, outside my comfort zone, but we're going to do it anyway. All right, so what would people normally come here for to get a massage? Just for relaxation, mm -hmm. work muscles, what types of things? I mean, you're, you're the expert here. <clears throat> um, massage is good <laughs> for relaxation. Mm -hmm. um, if you have any sore muscles, you know, from sports, uh, okay. if you have any injuries, okay. um, all different things. All right. Helps increase your circulation, lower your blood pressure. Wow. And that might help me. Yes. You know, so my blood pressure does get up there, you know, a few times during the day. <laughs> All right, so we're ready. Okay. I'm going to get on the table to you stretch are? your hair. Yeah, okay. It's not a stretcher. And we are ready. Here we go. Okay. Okay. All right. So I'll take my shoes off here. Right. we got everything else off here right here. What am I so gonna you're going to lay on your back. Right. Lay on my back? Yeah, you're going to lay okay. on your back. I'm oh, just going to work on your neck. What is this? This is a pillow for underneath your knees okay. to make you comfortable. Typically... Uh, Typically, right. you would climb in underneath the sheet and blanket. Yes, but, okay, yeah, we don't... But we're not going we're there. Not, we okay, don't. boy. All right. All right, now go easy on me, Lamar. Okay. I've never had this before. All right. All right. I don't like the doctor's <laughs> office. I feel like I'm in the doctor's <laughs> office right now. You're not in the doctor's okay, office. Okay, all right. Look, it's nice Yes, relaxing. I'm relaxing. I'm refreshed. Right, exactly. Okay, oh, all my. Right. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Rest your head. Yes, rest it down. There okay, you go. I'm all resting. Right. Now, typically, people are quiet during a massage, <laughs> Matt. I'll be quiet. Right. Okay, I'm very tense. <laughs> Can you handle this, Lenora? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you being worked over here. <laughs> okay, easy now. A little lower, you know. You can go a little lower if you want. Just working on the neck today, Matt. Oh, all right. Just yes. the neck area. Just okay. The neck. Oh, my goodness. Oh. What are you working on back here? <laughs> These are your neck muscles. 
Oh, the neck muscles. Oh, yeah. I thought you were moving some arteries around or something. <laughs> no, I'm not touching any arteries. You're not touching any arteries. No, okay, I thought, exactly. you know, No, just muscles. I thought you were closing a blood vessel. <laughs> Rest my head, right? Thank you. I keep picking my head up. I know you do. Trigger points. Did you find any trigger points back there? Oh, you did. Wow. I thought I felt something. Something tingling somewhere else, but I don't know if that was normal. <laughs> don't even. There you go. We did our massage. There's a little introduction. <clears throat> a little introductory massage. Ta da! Now we're going to head over to the acupuncture, acupuncture right? Acupuncture arts. Okay, acupuncture arts. Here we go. Tell us a little bit about what, where all this came from. Tell our audience at home. Well, it came from China. Yeah, it came from China. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh, uh -huh. Actually, how India, long have you been doing India, this? you know, the other side of the mountain, the Ayurvedics and the okay. Chinese are very similar. So they use a lot of herbs. They use needles, cups. Okay. So we're going to put some needles into Jamie today. We'll right? do needles today. Uh -huh. The idea here is we're going to do some stuff in your head. Okay. And then we're going to kind of bring it down through your feet because we okay. want to drain. We always take pulses and look at tongue. Oh, okay. That's diagnostic. So we're looking at the different organs in the body. So you've had acupuncture before, you're not afraid? No. Unlike some people here. Didn't even hurt that. The immune system, the stomach plays a big part in the immune system in Chinese medicine too, so I like to do stomach points for sinuses. Mm -hmm. And then I always like to do points down at the bottom. I <laughs> did <laughs> We just had a pedicure. Yeah, but my, like, the toes. The feet really only hurt men, to be honest. That didn't, I didn't even feel that. It's really true. The women... ...to bother them too much. The men can hardly stand Thank the you. feet being done. I was in such pain to get in that pedicure. Oh my goodness, <laughs> stop that. That explains it. See, this is really not painful stuff. You have to see to... Hey, <laughs> hey. Yeah. Well, these ones on the tips of the toes are never fun, but it goes away quickly. It doesn't Yeah, last. that one didn't hurt as bad. And you can see the needles are really, really thin. I'll show you this one. How are you feeling, Jamie? They're like to fine. Thread. Oh, you got a lot of fishing hooks hanging out of here. Stop. I'm so glad you find this humorous. <laughs> it's really not, it's really fine. Like if I was working on her autoimmune mm -hmm. problem, the needles would be retained for a good half an hour. Because that's a that's a different trajectory altogether. I can't um, but so sinuses, hard. anything acute, generally will rest for a shorter period of time. Sometimes even like orthopedic stuff, like shoulders and stuff like that, we literally just like chisel the needle and take it out. Chisel, take it out. Chisel, take it out. And we work with the trigger points like Lenora does what? as well. How are we feeling? Perfect. Wow. Fine. You relaxed? Yes, I am actually. We're enjoying our cookies here while we had our acupuncture segment. You know, we had you know, not. needles poked in you and, you know, all kinds of things going on. I couldn't take the needles. Yeah, that was, it was interesting. Really, it was really fine. But, you know, what... I what, know, but what, it just... It, it makes me hurt. nauseous. What but stuck I, out at me, no pun intended, crazy in my life, was that the woman, the woman mentioned about the pedicure and the men feeling the pain on their feet. That's why it hurt me so much. That's why the pedicure hurt me. She said it right there. <laughs> No, she okay. said that when you stick a needle in a man's foot, it Well, hurts. I felt like needles were going in my feet when they were scraping away down there. Because you, because you have <laughs> schmegla on the bottom of your feet. That's why. All right. Well, well, I don't know if we can follow up with that, but let's go to the play up. The Catskill High School play update by Billy Sinan from the Catskill News. This year we're doing uh, Meredith Wilson's The Music Man. The play is April 20th, 21st, and 22nd. In the show, Harold is a con artist that goes from town to town um, trying to sell boy bands. But by the time uh, the uniforms and instruments arrive, he's already skipped town and there's no band. And he ends up in River City, Iowa, meets Marion the librarian, and lo and behold, the con man falls in love. So I have a little love twist in there, and who knows, does River City get its band or not? We're doing very well. We have the entire play uh, blocked out, so everyone knows their entrances. Choreography rehearsals are going beautifully, and uh, we have a set design, so set build will start very soon, and costuming will start soon, too, as well. 
<laughs> okay, we ready? <laughs> we ready here? Here we go. <laughs> My eyebrows okay? <laughs> Can you hear me? There we go! Okay, here we are. All right, we've made it over here for a community. All right, let's go. Hurry up, Brian. Where do we look? Uh, right, yeah. you can look at there, or you can look at Nicole. I have two, we have two cameras set so up. I, yeah, oh. to, that's on her, though. Oh, oh okay, where do I look? Where do I look at right? the guy that we did last week? Yeah. I didn't know where the camera was, like, looking through our heads. Yeah, yeah, it's right there. <laughs> but you talk to us, don't worry about that. All right. No, I'm gonna talk to this boy. Talk to us. All right. Go. Start choking again. <laughs> oh, wow. This is what this is what we go through here. <laughs> All right. So we're back here for our community. And Lent. Lent begins, begins tomorrow. tomorrow. Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. With Ash Wednesday, it's also Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy, Happy Lent Valentine's to everybody. Day. And uh, we'll see everybody. Be good next to your loved ones.